Petitioners are calling on the Supreme Court to reconsider its decision to uphold most of the provisions in the controversial anti-terror law. Let's get the details from Marlene Alcaide, who's reporting to us live from Padre Faura. Hi, Marlene. What did the petitioners have to say? Yes, Sean, petitioners say history has a way of repeating itself, but there are parts of it that must not recur, especially those that led to horrendous arrests, disappearances, tortures, and deaths. That is why petitioner against the anti-terror law went back to the Supreme Court earlier today. At least 26 out of the 37 petitioners filed a joint motion for partial reconsideration. They urged the High Court to take a second look at the controversial and highly contested measure. In a 71-page motion, they ultimately asked the Supreme Court to declare the law unconstitutional. Recall that the SC upheld most of its provisions, including those that allow warrantless arrests and giving anti-terror counsel the power to designate individuals or organizations as terrorists. The petitioner cited the case of Chad Book, who was killed in a supposed encounter with the military. Authorities claim that Boak is a member of the New People's Army, but this was refuted by his camp. The petitioners added that the, the implementing rules and regulation of the law cannot cure the defects. Lawyers Howard Calieja, Neri Colmenares, and Randall Tabayoyong were present here at the SC earlier. Sean, the Supreme Court has yet to look into the motion for partial reconsideration of the petitioners. Note that uh, the ponente, Rosemary Carandang, has retired and has already been replaced. Carandang voted in favor of the petitioners on some issues in the anti-terror law. Sean? Thank you so much for those updates. Marlene Alcaide reporting to us live from the Supreme Court.